Hey, hey guys, welcome back. Today's nail art look is rainbows and it is to celebrate pride. So I'm going to first call out the fact that I believe the pride flag uses just purple as kind of the last color, um, but I wanted to do kind of a classic rainbow, I guess, if that's okay. <laughs> Um, that included um, indigo and not vermilion, <laughs> violet. Um, I also tested this look over gray, but mainly the main thing was that I wanted to use different hollow taco formulas for each color. And because my nails are small, I'm only going to use up to four polishes on my main fingernails, but my thumb, I'll use all seven. So let's see. Starting off with our base coat, we're using quick dry base. And as always, I apply this off camera. <laughs> and next I'm going to be using, wow, this looks wild in <laughs> the indoor lighting. I'm going to be using flaky hollow taco as kind of like an under layer before I put on all of the individual colors. Yeah. And the intent here is just that if there's any exposed nail, it'll have a little bit of sparkle. And moving right along, here are all seven polishes we will be <laughs> using. And starting things off with Frosted Metals and Favorite Sister. Moving on to the multi-chrome formula, but the lighter kind, this is Encryption Key. And from the Linear Hollow Formula and the Dark Rainbow Collection, it is Amber Apathy. And from the Holiday Glitters, here is Everything is Pine. From the Magnetics Collection is Twice in a Blue Moon. And also a little demo of the Magnetic. Ooh. This is a unique formula um, on the website, kind of listed as a purple indigo jelly with golden reflective glitter, so we'll go with that. This is Late Checkout. And lastly, rounding things off from the Chrome Collection, this is Iron Violet. And something else I'll be using a lot is this medium striping brush. Um, I use medium because my nails are short. If you had longer nails, I guess you'd use a longer, <laughs> a longer brush. Um, and I'm just going to be trying to do little like squigglies or swooshes on my nails, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and off we go. So I'll just be zooming through here and lightly narrating <laughs> um, but I'll take each polish and kind of put a little dot of it off to the side so that it's easy to get like a swipe of on my striping brush and my thumb will have all of the colors just because I felt like there was enough room while my other four fingers will have only four of each color well, not each, I'm sorry, <laughs> four colors. Um, and they'll be starting with like the next second color. So on my pointer finger, I start with red. And on my middle finger, I'll start with orange. And then my ring finger, I start with yellow and so on and so forth until I run out of fingers. Um, and then I'll add a color from down the wheel, <laughs> down the rainbow wheel, um, until I ran out of fingers. So, off we go. Mm -hmm. 
Once we got down to the green, things started to feel <laughs> a little bit better because that orange and yellow, because they're so, the formula is how it is. It doesn't feel kind of like a classic, you know, orange and yellow, especially the yellow. It's very muted and the orange could sometimes read kind of pink. Um, but yeah, having the other colors on my thumb for like the whole rainbow made it look so much like cool, <laughs> so much neater. I don't know. <laughs> I did try to magnetize twice in a blue moon on my thumb, but it didn't look like it did anything, so I left it alone. Uh, twice in a blue moon is such a pretty blue on its own anyway that I felt it didn't really need anything extra. Also, late checkout is another really pretty color, like at its base on its own. Um, if you wanted, you could probably stop here if you ran out of room on your nails or preferred it this way. Um, but I just wanted to go with a little bit extra oomph and get violet in here too. And I like how it kind of rounded it out. And I went back and did some second coats for the majority of the colors. There were a few I skipped, I think. Um, but yeah, most of them I went back and just did a second coat. And hooray! We made it! <laughs> Next is to apply a glossy taco to kind of seal and level everything off, especially since we used so many different formulas. And here it is! Yeah, that thumb looks so nice. I got used to the rest of the colors on my nails. I thought they were cool. <laughs> um, but initially I was like, ah, oh, they look kind of weird. Um, and here's indoor lighting in the same situation I've been filming in. Yeah, that flaky taco looks so silver inside. Oh gosh, it's inspection time. Okay, we're inspecting my thumb. It looks great okay there's maybe like a little bit of flooding near the cuticle section but you know aside from that it looks fine <laughs> I kind of wish I could have done it thinner so I got more of my nude nail underneath with the sparkle um, but all things considered I thought it looked cool oh I also decided to like mess with the lighting to see if I could bring out more of the yellow and orange yeah the yellow comes out more with like the direct light and then the orange, I felt like it came through more when I kind of took away the light. You can see it kind of start to glow. But anyway, it looks fine. Okay, point of finger. Um, it's giving Christmas. No extra notes. Middle finger. We're so proud. It had the most like obvious little swoop, the little swish at the top where you can see I fluttered my cuticle also. <laughs> Um, but then it kind of rounded off at the bottom. Okay, ring finger. Ooh, purple. Looks good. <laughs> also needs more kind of sushi effect, but my nails are small. 
Okay, pinky finger. <laughs> what I did it? There's like the smallest, the smallest of curves at the top, and then it just kind of flattens out at the bottom. Mhm. Mm but I like these colors. I like these blue. Oh, color. Oh, hey kitty. Okay, inspection over. And going outside, here is the <laughs> shade to sun. Uh, <laughs> look. Featuring my cat. And I do have an object for this look. It is a rainbow ice cream pin. And I thought it kind of matched along with my nails really well. And look how pretty they are in the sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for being here. And bye.